In the meantime, the United States government says it is committed to helping Nigeria combat malnutrition. This, the U.S. government says, is a critical component of improving the overall health, education, and economic development of the country. Moya Thomas has details. Malnutrition in Nigeria, especially among children, has become an issue of great public health concern. This is more so considering the statistics coming out of this. It is in view of this that United States government, through the U.S. Agency for International Development, organizes trade fair for ready-to-use therapeutic foods, RUTF, and other life-saving nutrition commodities. The agency also says it has invested over $55 million towards addressing food insecurity and acute malnutrition. The U.S. government, therefore, is eager to strengthen ties with the private sector firms that are addressing malnutrition here. For example, just last week, USAID entered into a partnership with Enzer Food and Beverages to build a medical-grade groundnut paste processing facility here in Nigeria. Adequate nutrition is considered a key factor to live an active and healthy life. In spite of its importance as a determinant of health and development, malnutrition is still a neglected area, and too little has been done to address its causes and serious social and economic implications. USAID Mission Director also calls on all states to commit to sustaining access to RUTF and other life-saving nutrition commodities for their indigents. I want to make our government commitment on the procurement of RUTF and payment of our counterpart funding of PHC MOU in the next few weeks. The agency also promises to explore more sustainable financing options to ensure the commodities remain accessible to those that need them. Local production of ready-to-use therapeutic foods will not only help reduce cases of acute malnutrition, but it will also increase economic empowerment in the country. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.